we should have another good game on our hands here. There's no love lost between Chesterfield and Bromley either. Things have got rather heated between them in the past, to say the least. And the tension couldn't be much higher ahead of this latest meeting. One win away from Wembley, one defeat away from starting all over again in August. The sense that today's second semi-final will be a test of nerve as much as anything. Coming short for the corner, Chesterfield. That's dangerous, and Reese Charles Cook wasn't too sure about the effort from Oldacre. He couldn't really make a decision to come off his line and go for it or just leave it. Here's Dobra. Jeff King has come forward here. Good position for him, and he let fly. It's uh, Chesterfield still waiting for their first effort on target. Now, here's Cole Clough. Couldn't quite release Dallas, but he finds Mandeville instead. Great save by Charles Cook. Had the shot towards goal, maybe Dobra, if he'd have squared it towards him, maybe it would have been a slightly harder ball. But you've got to be careful not to be caught in those areas. Now, something is clearly happening uh, in that area behind... Uh, Ross Fitzsimons' goal. Uh, both managers uh, seem to be remaining good humoured about it, but uh, it's a little bit of a concern. It's going to give both head coaches the opportunity to have a quick word with their players, I think, after they've had a word with one another. A chance here out of nothing and a very risky challenge from Ross Fitzsimons who in the end uh, did just enough on Bez Topoloy. <laughs> just hold your breath for a second as a Chesterfield fan when you're seeing the goalkeeper fling out like that it's Marriott's delivery and oh. glance just wide what a ball out of Marriott there on the end of the head up that hits a target, it's a goal. Here's Dallas. Tangling the top of it. Mandeville comes away with it. Jeff King almost got in his way. And Jeff King going down in the box. It seemed to me like a little bit of simulation, that. And given that he is already on a yellow card... I mean, he's looking for it. Yeah, he's going down before the challenge of Reynolds arrives. A more officious referee would have punished King for that. Now, Cheek with Whiteley up there too. There is Whiteley going in, and Marriott can't miss! Bromley lead in first half stoppage time! Adam Marriott, the player who wouldn't even have started were it not for injury to Louis Dennis has given Andy Woodman's side a vital lead here. But Simons thinks that Ash Palmer's going to clear that. He leaves it, and that's what surprises the goalkeeper. What a time to be making a mistake. But that's what the playoffs are all about, fine margins. And they've capitalised on that, Bromley. They've had to work hard for that goal, and they found it. Goldclough, Dallas couldn't get there, Mandeville could, and it almost deflected in off Callum Reynolds for an own goal. Chesterfield get a corner, but it could have been so much more. Well, he should have scored. Just Fisher just has to not be clever there to try and back heel it, but when it fell to Liam Mandeville, you saw goal straight away, just snatching his chance. The Chesterfield fans have found their voice. And they find an equaliser. 
Bromley got it away once again. They haven't done much wrong in defence today, the Ravens. They will be tested time and again in the remaining 32 minutes plus stoppages. Colclough driving one, and it's deflected in! Andy Dallas celebrates, but I think it went in of Deji Leroy. One way or the other, Chesterfield are back on terms just before the hour mark, and it is game on once again in this second semi-final. Well, it's another goal. When you look at the quality of a ball that goes in, it causes the defender an issue. It's an own goal, isn't it? But what Andy Dallas does really well, he puts pressure on the defender. It's an unfortunate one facing towards your own goal. Now, Fisher, he's done well. Oh, Fisher's strike! Somehow it stayed out. Terrific effort from the 18-year-old. I thought for a split second there, it might have come off Ash Palmer and gone into an own goal. I think he just did enough to get out of the way of it. Oh, we've got a drone above the pitch here. It's not the first time that the game has been stopped today. The first occasion was a medical emergency in the crowd. But now the referee is having to take both sets of players off the pitch uh, due to the presence of that unidentified flying object. And you can't blame the referee for it. He's under instruction to do exactly what he is doing. Oh, flying challenge by Deji Leroy. And what's the referee going to do here? It's a red card for the teenager. It's been a terrible second half for Deji Leroy. The score of the own goal for the Chesterfield equaliser and now shown the red card. King going for the goal line. Show me with a clearance with Dobra lurking. Big appeals for handball. And a free kick is given right on the edge of the box. Mike Jones's strike hitting the arm of Bingham, I think it was. Wow. Well, if it's on the line, of course, it's a penalty. It is, a, that's a penalty. If you had VAR here, then now it has been given as a penalty. It's Old Acre, he scores! And Chesterfield lead for the first time today. They've turned it around in the second half. You can see the three Chesterfield players that just create that little bit of space for him to hit the ball through. You see Grimes there, he just moves, and he goes straight through the middle of that. It's a brilliantly executed free kick, takes a little deflection on the way through. Not really much the goalkeeper could do about that. Show me his head up. more playoff drama here in the National League. Chesterfield can't believe it. They were cruising to the promotion final. But Michael Cheek's equaliser has snatched it away from them. Extra time to come here. Chance here for Mandeville. He scores! And Chesterfield's lead is restored. The Spyrites creep ahead once again. Liam Mandeville absolutely smashed that into the back of the net. Having the season of his career in a Chesterfield shirt. And could that be the winner? And there it is. Chesterfield are on their way to Wembley. Paul Cook has put them on the brink of a return to the EFL. Will it be third time lucky in the playoffs for the Spyrites, who seem to have timed their run of form to perfection? It's finished here after extra time. Chesterfield three, Bromley two.